Thank you, Mr. President. Most agree that the two-state solution to the Israel-Palestine issue is the best way forward. Indeed, many international actors are signed up to this approach. My issue is not with strategy, but with the rhetoric and anti-Israeli and anti-Semitic statements that continue to emanate from parts of this chamber. The Israeli government is on record as being committed to the two-state answer. But they've also said this is presently impossible due to the lack of trust between the Israeli and Palestinian leadership and indeed the two peoples. Israel has asked the international community to help build that trust so that progress can be made. But their plea is often ignored, especially in this place. It is, of course, much easier to grandstand and offer anything constructive much easier to criticise and offer a balanced approach. Let's just for once consider the reality. Israel has understandable security concerns and indeed its very survival. Many neighbours call for her destruction at the very time that Hamas sits on Israel's borders fomenting death and destruction. There are constant terrorist attacks against Israel's civilian population and they recognise the rise of anti-Semitism around the world, not least in this place. Thus, Israel pursues policies to safeguard our people and interests and until a Palestinian authority can be trusted and Hamas desists from pushing an agenda of extinction, it is unreasonable to expect the Israeli government to enter into agreements with a dysfunctional enemy. I recognise that Israeli settlements are a major obstacle to a lasting agreement, but the international community must do more to give her government the necessary sense of security to make tough decisions. Finally, I hope this chamber can actually be even-handed and desist from anti-Israeli settlement sentiment, which may play well here, but in reality costs both Israeli and Palestinian lives. However, Judging by what's already been said during this debate, I don't think that's likely to happen. Thank you. Yes, emotions are very high in this chamber, but Mr. Pakpadakis just called the State of Israel a terrorist state. Will you be taking action in regards to that, Madam President? Thank you. I can tell you that I took note of that and we will have a debate on that in the Bureau.